Hey y'all, welcome back to Crafting Cousins Times 2. I'm Trish. Thank you for joining me today. If you're new to our channel, I hope that you will subscribe by clicking on the little button below. If you click it again when the bell appears, YouTube will let you know every time we upload new content. On May and Mondays, Kay and I show you projects that we have completed to hopefully give you inspiration and maybe even some ideas for things that you may need. Today I'm going to be expounding on something that Kay and I talked about in our craft chat on Saturday. If you haven't had a chance to see that yet, I will put a link down below so that you can go and check it out. So what am I going to be showing you? Let me grab my supplies and we'll get started. And we're back. In Saturday's craft chat, Kay and I talked about displays in your booths for craft fairs, how you need to have things at different eye levels to make it more appealing and to draw more people in. When we first started doing craft fairs, I needed a way to display some of the smaller items that I made. One of the things that I made were these small frames that I love. They are a great seller. People love them. They're not very expensive and it's a unique gift that they can give people to put their photos in or even to put a gift card in. So. I wanted to be able to get them and get as many of them out as I could, but I wanted it to be eye appealing for people who were walking up and couldn't necessarily see what was going on. As you see here, when they're sitting out on a table all flat, it's hard to see what it is. And, and when you start putting um, photos and gift cards and stuff in them to give them an idea of exactly what these are for, it makes it even harder to see the ones behind it. So I wanted a way that I could raise these up and be able to get as many as I could in a small space. When Kay and I are working together, we have lots of crafts that have to go out at these fairs and I have to be mindful that it's not just me. I've got to give her space as well. So I wanted to be able to go up but still get in quite a few of the frames so that they could see what was going on. So my solution was this riser. Now I did go on Etsy and Amazon and I looked for risers and um, displays that you can use at craft shows and I did find some, some pretty similar to this, but they were expensive and when you're starting out doing craft fairs, you have so much money in it already, in your materials, for your inventory, in tables and linens and booth fees, all these things add up. So I wanted to be cost effective and see what I could make. I also loved the rustic look. I wanted it um, to look like it was aged and had been used so that it would fit in with our aesthetic. So what I ended up doing was I went to Home Depot and I got a 2x4 and a 1x4 and then I went out to my shed and out in the yard and I picked up some old wood to use in different places so that I would have a very rustic looking piece. I also took my hammer and I beat up my wood some and then I stained it and I cut the different pieces. For this bottom, I didn't want it to be as high so I just cut like excuse me, a three and a half inch piece. I think that's what that is. And then for the second piece, I did a little more than double, um, maybe even close to three times what this one was. And then for the last piece, I took this piece and this piece and I did those measurements and added just a little bit at the top to get my last piece so that it would go up. Now, if you're interested in making one of these for yourself, I will take these measurements and I will put them down in the description box below so that you will know what measurements I used because if you're going to Home Depot and you don't have a saw of your own they will make those cuts for you you just need to know what um, size cuts that you want so once I got all my wood cut um, and I of course cut my one by fours down for the top of the shelf then I went to putting it together I took an old piece of wood that I had found outside um, and I cut it down and I stained everything a dark stain and like I said I beat it up to make it look old. Then I took my three boards and I laid them down and I put wood glue on them and I took screws and screwed this in to hold these together. This is not going anywhere. This is sturdy. It has been drug around. It has been dropped 
and it has not even remotely come loose yet. I did that for the other side as well and then I took my top shelves and I used those to anchor the two sides together. I put um, wood glue underneath it and then screwed in screws and I made a very stable shelf here. Now I can take my little frames and set them on the shelves. It'll fit five. Most of the time I will put four unless I just have a lot of designs that I want to have out and have um, everyone be able to see. But I can set them up here. I can even put photos in the ones on the top. I put um, gift cards in the ones on the second level and then I'll take little price tags and make my price and stick it in some of them around so that they don't block these on this shelf but on this shelf you can go as high as you want so I'll put um, photos up there and let them see and it just makes for a very eye appealing display. Now the eye goes up and since this level is higher than the table you can still set other frames down on the table level and make even more room to put out more of your items so that people can see it. Now you may not be doing frames, but this works for any number of items that you would have that you need to display. And I'm very happy with it. I love how it looks. I love that it looks old and beat up and it fits into our aesthetic really well. Hopefully this has given you an idea if you're going to be doing craft fairs or any kind of show that you are needing something and you don't want to spend a lot of money on, then this is a great idea for that. Um, I've got one more item that I'm going to show you that I used whenever I needed a way to display car charms and I think you're going to like that as well. Let me grab that and I will be right back. Okay, so another item that I needed to be able to display was my car charms. When I first started making them, I just went out to um, Michael's and I got a jewelry hanger and I was hanging them on that. And that worked fine because you could see them. You could actually probably see them a little bit better than you can on this. But the problem that I ran into was people didn't understand what they were for. They didn't know what they were supposed to do with them. And since I make my car charms on these stretchy bands, so that they will go over your mirror of your car. A lot of people thought they were supposed to put them in their hair and I didn't want anyone pulling their hair out. So I was trying to come up with a way that I could display the car charms but also show them what they're for, what you use them for. So I went to Home Depot and I got this. It was a top for a table, for a small table. And I brought it home and I got my husband to cut off the bottom of it to give it a flat edge so that it wasn't completely round. Then we took a one by four and cut it down to make a leg and he, he put a hinge on there so that it would fold back and forth. It folds flat for whenever I'm carrying it but it will stand out. Oops, sorry about that. I can put it out and it stands up for display. Then I went to um, AutoZone and I bought a car mirror and I attached it to this piece of wood. We put the little piece on there and then screwed the mirror on. So now I've got something that shows them what this is for besides just my sign saying car charms. Now they see that there's a mirror and it makes them know that it goes to their car. And whenever I'm at a show I always put a car charm on so it can hang down and they can see when they walk up oh yeah this is for your mirror of your car and this is what you can use. Now to be able to hang my charms on it I just went in and I put a bunch of cup hooks at different intervals so that they could hang down in between and you'd be able to see all of them. And I get quite a few on here too so this works really well. Now it is a little big it takes up some space on your table. So typically when Kay and I are working together, I will take it and turn it at an angle. That is so that the car charms will be facing out of the tent so that when people go by they can see it and they will all, almost always stop to see what it is because they're curious. And it gives more space over here on this side for her to be able to put some of her items. And we can also put small items in front of it because I didn't put it so far down that it would block the car charms. There you go. These are the two displays that I made to be able to show my items at craft fairs. 
When you're looking at your displays, just always keep in mind that it needs to be something that you can carry. Something that will collapse is always good. That's why I like this piece. Um, or at least have it small so that you can put it in a little area that won't be too much in your way. When Kay and I do craft shows, we both have small cars. I drive a Mazda 6 and she drives a small SUV. So we have to keep in mind what will fit. What can we get in there and be able to get back in at the end of the show? These work well for me. They did everything I wanted them to. I was able to get lots of items in. It pulls the eye up and this one actually shows what it's used for. So hopefully I was able to give you some inspiration today if you need to be able to um, come up with some kind of displays for craft shows that you may be going to do. And down in the description box I will put the measurements and what materials I use so that you can duplicate these if you would like to. If you don't have a saw, um, Home Depot and Lowe's will both make those cuts for you. You just need to be able to take in what you want your measurements to be and they will cut those for you and most of the time they don't charge anything. So thank you for joining me today. I hope that you all will come back tomorrow. Kay is going to be doing Tutorial Tuesday and I think she's going to be doing another Easter craft. So I'm excited to see that. You guys have a great day and we'll talk to you later. Bye!